All right, I'm inspecting a really old house today. This is from 1800s. And uh, looks like we've had some history on the walls, people carving out their names. But we have a furnace that's dating back also with some history and timeline. What you're looking at is uh, a Luxair, forced air, natural gas, uh, and the average life expectancies on this furnace is typically about 15 to 20 years. Um, this is uh, roughly about 70% efficient. It does not have an inducer fan. The exhaust pipe is metal, which is gonna get really hot uh, to the touch. So it's gotta have proper clearance. And um, it's been a while since I've seen one of these, but the data plate right here reveals it's got uh, MFD, manufactured date 0990. So this is 1990 and the ANSI standard date above is 1988. So that collates with that. So we're looking at 35 years for this furnace. And at this timeline in the age bracket, I can guarantee there's gonna be a crack on what is referred as the vestibule uh, that uh, connects to the heat exchanger, which is the heart of the furnace. So right here we have a flame shield and this particular one, it just slides off real nice, nice and easy. And once that's off, now you can see what is referred as ribbon burners. These are not on today's furnaces. Today we have monoport burners. So the, the typical ribbon burner literally is just like on a gas grill. So that flame is along the hole top portion here and you can see uh, where those little holes are and just below it you can see there's some rust and metal fatigue and we're looking at the inside portion of the heat exchanger and these screws right here is what's connecting this vestibule to the actual heat exchanger so it kind of holds it all into place and here we have three cells one two, three on the heat exchanger itself. And this part right here, this is where it's notorious for getting cracks. And here we have one right there. Now that crack can allow that byproduct combustion gas, um, such as carbon monoxide, to get through that area. And then once it gets through that location, it now can get into your ductwork. So it's considered the same thing as heat exchanger. And, um, we're trying to find this part. It's like a needle in a haystack. And it doesn't make sense to even re repair or replace the parts. Uh, literally, a heating contractor would have to take this whole thing apart just to repair that. And now you still have all the other parts that are 35 plus years. Blower, uh, gas control, all kinds of things. So um, it's better just to replace it based on the efficiency of it. But yeah, typical area and you got that rust where that rollout's been occurring, and there's another crack right here. Right in between those two screws, there's another one you can really see. And without even looking up into those heat exchanger cells, more than likely I probably would find cracks up into those areas also. So once that byproduct um, gas is burned off into the heat exchanger, it pops back out right up into here. This is the top portholes coming out of the top of the heat exchanger. This is referred as the draft hood and then combustion gas goes up into the flue pipe yep. and there it is typical 35 year old 70 percent efficient forced air natural gas furnace thanks for watching the video